so good morning uh, yesterday we have discussed about uh, how to create a class and objects uh, so different object oriented uh, terminologies we have discussed so uh, on the object oriented terminologies we have seen about inheritance okay yesterday we have seen about inheritance so we have seen the definition of inheritance inheritance means we will you will have two classes one is base class and another one is derived class so derived class will acquire the properties of base class okay inheritance means the uh, the definition for inheritance is acquiring the properties so what properties you are going to acquire so you are going to acquire the properties of derived class uh, from where from base class okay so see see here i have represented diagrammatically this is base class and this is derived class so you are going to uh, acquire derived class is going to acquire the properties of base class that means derived classes are inherited from base class okay so a base class may contain variables and methods a derived class may contain variables and methods okay a base class may contain variables and methods a derived class may contain variables and methods okay so a base class yesterday itself i have mentioned a base class is called parent class okay derived class is called child class okay what is base class base class is called parent class derived class is called child class okay so so yesterday we have seen an example how to access the members uh members stored inside the class so the members stored inside the class can be accessed with the help of what objects okay with the help of objects you can access the members stored inside the class so there may be an object for base class there may be an object for derived class but here uh here you see clearly derived class is acquiring the properties of base class okay derived class acquiring the properties of base class okay so these two classes are interrelated okay these two classes are interrelated if you create object for derived class with the help of this object you can also access the derived class and also you can access the base class so there is no need for creating object in the base class are you clear why we are why we are creating object only in the derived class because so derived class and base class or linked together so derived class so derived class is derived from where from its parent class what is its parent class parent class is a base class so if you it is enough to create an object in derived class with the help of this object you can acquire the properties of base class okay so there are different types of inheritance in python programming first inheritance we are going to discuss about single inheritance okay what is the first inheritance single inheritance a single inheritance is an inheritance which has only one base class and one derived class a single inheritance is an inheritance which has only one base class and one derived class see here so derived class is acquiring the properties of base class so that arrow is represented from down to up so derived class uh, is acquiring the properties of base class so you are putting arrow from down to up so base class what is base class base class is a parent class derived class is a child class okay in next video we will see the example of the uh, single inheritance program okay